Hi ladies, hi gents. Um, just want to share a quick project with you today. And I know recently I've done quite a few pocket watches, but yes, I have another one to share. <laughs> I've been absolutely love altering these and I thought I'm just going to go with the flow because I'm enjoying them. And when you're enjoying something, I think um, you should go with it. Well, that's my excuse anyway. <laughs> okay, it's another one of the large ones. Uh, I'm going to show you the back of it first. Um, so that you can see the paper. Well, the, actually the napkin. Um, this is the Parisian napkin that I had. And um, I've used on a few projects, a few bags and stuff. And um, I just had to use one on one of these pocket watches. Um, you can't see much of it on the front, that's why I'm showing you the back first. <laughs> um, so I just mod podged that on, and I did actually seal it over it uh, on this one. Uh, and I did distress around the edges with uh, walnut stain as well. Was it walnut stain? Uh, uh, yeah, I think it was. Just very slightly, I just touched on. No, actually, it was teeth. Uh, tea dye I think and just touched on the edges with that okay so <laughs> there's quite a lot going on in this one um, okay so I used the same napkin on the front and mod podge that I take you towards you'll see the napkin Okay, so you can see the napkin here in the background, so I'm going to podge that on. Um, okay. Oh, where to start? Okay, so around this edge here, I've used this crochet trim, and it's the most gorgeous um, dusky pink colour. I'll just show you it. This is it. And actually, Lily sent me this. It's that that wonderful case that Lily made me, full of laces and doilies. Um, so thank you, Lily. Yay! I love this colour. So I used that on the edge. Just just round here, up to the top. There. And then over the top of that, I've used this tiny um, crochet trim all the way around. Just to frame it. You can see it peeking out there. Um, then uh, I've added the doily that matches uh, the trim. I do have a she gave me a few doilies in the same gorgeous colour. Thank you, Lily. So I used one of the, the doilies and th then layered two tiny doilies. And these are actually, these came from Natasha. So thank you, Natasha. And then I've added one of uh, these cameos, which was a perfect match in colour. I think that was from um, Wild Orchid Crafts, this one. And it was in the same dusky, dusty rose pink. I can see a thread there. Got it, I think. Okay. Um, I've added a pink swell, and this is one of the ones that I got from Crystal's store. Thank you, Crystal. I've got a few thank yous to do in this month. <laughs> Um, okay, the the clock ha I have actually put clock hands on this one. So the clock hands are Tim Holtz, and as are the cogs that I've built up in the centre. If I can just show you that. Okay, and they do actually move as well. Okay, so then I used a few Crafty Embleys pieces. One was the, the dress form, 
One is the, the small cherish sign. And up here behind the, on the stopper, I've used another small crafty and bellies cog here, which you can just see, which I've added a bling to the centre of. I don't know if you, well, you can see there. Um, okay, so love crafty emblaze. Um, you know, there's always a piece that can fit in every project, always. So thank you, Judy and Pete. Absolutely love them. Um, they're so yummy. <laughs> I did actually rub the um, Victorian velvet distress stain lightly over the dress form to give it a very slight distressed pink look and then I had this metal piece which um, was a long flat piece I only had one of them so I can't even show you it which I wrapped around the dress the body of the dress form sort of looked like a belt there uh, then I've just used um, some Wild Orchid Craft Roses in uh, a rose pink um, top. I forget what this colour's called. Oh. So there's three colours and what I did is I just took the Victorian Velvet uh, Distress Ink Pad and I've just dabbed it onto all of them. to tone them into the same colours that are in the napkin. Uh, I've added, uh, this is a Prima butterfly which I've had in my stash for quite a long time. It's from a very old uh, Prima line. and The colour just matched totally so it was definitely going to go on there. <laughs> Um, so what else? Oh yes, the dangles. So if I just show you the back, what I did is I've just punched three holes and I have put an eyelet um, through them, which you can just see at the back. It was just big enough just to seal at the back. Um, and then I've threaded some chain through, just from a necklace that I had. And this centre um, tassel is actually from an earring. So I've attached that to the centre. And these two small ones are Tim Holtz ones. And I just love how that looks. I'm so happy with that. So that was fun to do. Um, I think I've covered everything. Um, I think so. Um, so yeah, I had great fun with this. I've been having great fun doing all the all of these pocket watches, and I'm sure you must all be bored of them by now. But um, yeah, I'm just having too much fun with them. So <laughs> I have got one more to do, and uh, then it will probably. I'll probably move on to something else. <laughs> but you know, just because I tidied up my stash and I came across it and I started altering them and I enjoyed it. And then I kept thinking of an un once I'd done one, I thought of another idea. So I just went with it. So I'm going to call this one my uh, Parisian, Parisian shabby pocket watch, I think. And I think I've thanked everyone that sent me something that's in here. I hope I have. Um, but I really hope you like it. I'll just quickly show you. Oh, I'm going to drop it. It close up again.
Okay. Okay, thank you all for watching and um, I hope you like it and I hope you're not getting too bored of seeing them. <laughs> and um, I'll speak to you all soon. Bye for now.